The name of the movie is The Gray Man. The movie begins inside the confining walls of a high-security prison, a place that houses a truly unique individual. Our protagonist is a captivating and charismatic gentleman, a man whose intelligence and experience are masked by his current circumstances. His past, however, is spoiled with a tragic incident, a young boy forced to end the life of his tormenting, brutal father, just to shield his younger sibling from the terror. His actions of the past are what led him to this jail cell. In this gray world, he gains the interest of Fitzroy, a calculated and experienced officer from the CIA. Fitzroy sees the man as a diamond in the rough, an unused potential that could serve a higher purpose. Thus, he offers him a life-altering proposition, freedom from his current imprisonment in exchange for his commitment to the CIA. He join an elite squad known as Sierra. Seeing an opportunity to redefine his life, the man consents, thereby becoming the final piece in the six-member elite team puzzle. He earns the codename Six. We then fast-forward 18 years into the future. Six has been an integral part of the CIA, committedly serving his country, while Fitzroy, his recruiter, enjoys his well-earned retirement. Six, alongside his colleague, Danny, finds himself in the pulsing heart of Bangkok, assigned with a mission to neutralize a potentially dangerous individual. Six sets up his weapon, his heart pounding in sync with the rhythmic ticks of the clock. His superior in the CIA, a man named Carmichael, provides him the mission brief. The target, as per Carmichael, is a traitor leaking sensitive information that could jeopardize national security. Six takes his aim, but just as he's about to pull the trigger, he spots a child close to the target. Despite Carmichael's insistent commands to proceed with the mission, Six decides to disobey. Planning to take down the target in his own ways, he triggers the emergency alarm instead. Chaos ensues, and Six skillfully takes down the target's bodyguards amidst the frantic rush. He then embarks on a relentless chase to capture the target, finally managing to corner him. But the encounter takes a surprising turn. The cornered man, now identified as Four, reveals he is a former member of the Sierra team, shocking Six. But the surprises don't end there, he claims that Carmichael's intentions for wanting him dead are far from what he claimed. It isn't about national security, instead, it's because Four holds a hard drive carrying evidence of Carmichael's awful operations and poor leadership. Four, now on the brink of death, entrusts Six with a necklace. Inside the necklace is a hard drive with the power to bring Carmichael down. With his dying breath, Four begs Six to use the hard drive for the right cause, to expose Carmichael's corruptions and wrongdoings. Following a thorough inspection of Four's deceased body, Carmichael is met with a frustrating revelation, the drive he's been anxiously seeking isn't found. Displeased by the setback, he dials Six, hoping to get some information in the matter. Upon inquiring if Six had taken anything from Four's body, he receives a no response. However, Carmichael knows Six is holding on to something. Intrigued by the mysterious drive handed to him by Four, Six attempts to unlock the secret stored in the drive, only to find it encrypted. Needing assistance, he decides to send it to an old ally, Margaret in Prague, renowned for her expertise in breaking through such codes. Our tale then takes us to the distant landscapes of Azerbaijan, where Fitzroy, now retired, has chosen to spend his peaceful days. Six manages to track him down and fills him in on his alarming discovery about Carmichael's corrupt dealings. Fitzroy, recognizing the imminent danger Six may face, asks for his location with the intention of deploying a team to ensure his safety. Six further reveals that just before his death, forgave him a hard drive. A hard drive that houses secrets powerful enough to expose Carmichael's misdeeds. Fitzroy directs him to travel to an airfield in Chiang Mai, where an extraction team will be waiting for him. In a following scene, Carmichael confides in Suzanne, a fellow CIA agent. He discloses Six's knowledge of the drive's whereabouts and his refusal to share this vital information. He determines it's time to engage someone with unique skills, someone who can handle Six and retrieve the drive. The scene then introduces us to the man Carmichael is relying on, Lloyd, a man known for his relentless pursuit of his objectives. Carmichael tasks Lloyd with a mission, find and eliminate Six, and recover the drive, no matter the cost. To help Lloyd in the mission, Carmichael mentions he will give files about Fitzroy. The idea is to use someone close to Fitzroy to make him talk. They think Fitzroy knows where Six is hiding, and they want him to tell them. The narrative then sweeps us off to Chiang Mai, to the designated extraction site of Six by Fitzroy's men. Six, awaiting his rescue, arrives at the site, preparing to depart with the team sent by Fitzroy. In a twisted turn of events, Lloyd confronts Fitzroy at a funeral, a sad place made even more dark by Lloyd's scary warning. He warns Fitzroy that unless he discloses Six's whereabouts, his beloved niece, Claire, will face a gruesome end. He reveals that he has already kidnapped Claire, someone whom Six also deeply cares for, having been her guardian during his early days with the CIA. With Claire's life hanging by a thread, Fitzroy submits to the pressure and agrees to betray Six. While Six is being transported by Fitzroy's team, they receive a call with a shocking instruction, to assassinate Six and recover the drive. As they approach Six, he senses their evil intent and employs his impressive combat skills, fighting them off with wild strength. Amid the chaos, Six manages to grab a parachute, only to have it stolen by one of the assailants. In a daring move, Six jumps from the plane with the hijacker, fighting him in mid-air. In a heart-stopping moment, Six strangles him to death while falling towards the earth. Six successfully utilizes the parachute and lands in Turkey, surviving another brush with death. 
Following his dramatic escape, Six contacts Fitzroy, narrating the betrayal and the attempted murder. It's then that Fitzroy reveals the tragic truth, Claire has been kidnapped, and they are using her as leverage. Lloyd seizes the phone and offers Six a deal, hand over the drive, and Claire would be free to go. However, Six declines the offer. Moving on to a new plan, Six meets a man capable of providing him a new identity. The man hands him an Ecuadorian passport, a ticket to a hidden identity. He instructs Six to step onto a platform for a photograph. But in a sudden and unexpected twist, the man kicks a button, causing the platform to open beneath Six feet, dropping him into a well. With a cheeky smile, he shares that a big prize is waiting for the one who captures Six. Trapped and desperate, Six struggles to free himself, but his attempts prove futile. The once invincible CIA agent now finds himself in a well with seemingly no escape. Meanwhile, in the bustling city of Berlin at the CIA quarters, Danny courageously confronts Carmichael, seeking answers. Carmichael, however, issues a chilling warning, if she possesses any knowledge about Six's location or the location of the drive, she will face severe consequences. Amid their conversation, a message arrives on Carmichael's phone, it's the address where they've captured Six. Lloyd is immediately notified about the capture too. In the meantime, despite his dire circumstances, Six is already crafting a plan to escape his awkward prison. He smashes the pipes, flooding the well with water. Lloyd and his team soon arrive at the scene, eager to claim their captive. The man who had trapped Six in the well greedily demands his reward, only to be met with a bullet. Lloyd commands his men to scour the area in search of Six. As they approach the flooded well, a sudden explosion of water and shattered glass greets them. Six fights off Lloyd's men, but Lloyd quickly confronts him. As Lloyd demands the drive, he notices Six lobbing a grenade. Panicked, he scrambles for cover. In the chaos of the explosion, Six attempts to escape, but Lloyd pursues him vigorously. Just when it seems Lloyd has the upper hand, Danny comes to the rescue, shooting Lloyd with a sedative dart. It appears she managed to read the address on Carmichael's message and track Six down. She orders Six to climb into her car's trunk. When he hesitates, she swiftly sedates him as well. The action then shifts to Croatia, where Lloyd has relocated Fitzroy and Claire. Upon their arrival, Suzanne voices her concerns to Lloyd, criticizing him for kidnapping Fitzroy and Claire. She fears his reckless actions are endangering her career. Lloyd replies heatedly, asserting that he is her only chance of retrieving the drive. He has the upper hand, he argues, precisely because he doesn't abide by their rules. Lloyd is determined to complete his mission, regardless of the means he must employ. In the following scene, Danny and Six are found deep in a conversation. Danny asks him pointedly about what he took from the agency. Six reveals that it's a drive given to him by Four before his death. However, the drive is encrypted, so he sent it to Margaret in Prague for decryption. The plot thickens when Lloyd learns that Six had sent a package to someone in Prague the night of the Bangkok operation. That package, as we know, is the drive Six sent to Margaret. Lloyd decides to extract this information from Fitzroy, resorting to harsh methods of torture. After suffering through great agony, Fitzroy finally reveals what he knows about Margaret and where she can be found. Subsequently, Danny and Six make their way to Prague to meet Margaret. Upon their arrival, Margaret reveals that the drive houses a treasure evidence of Carmichael's illicit activities, the torture and assassinations he's orchestrated. This information makes clear why Carmichael is utterly committed on eradicating Six. Margaret advises them to copy the files and leak them to the press in order to bring down Carmichael. Their discussion is abruptly interrupted as Lloyd's men arrival to Margaret's place, unleashing a barrage of gunfire. Amid the chaos, Margaret guides Six to a basement escape route, only to lock the door behind him. Despite Six's desperate pleas for her to open the door and escape with him, Margaret remains determined, making the ultimate sacrifice. She triggers an explosion that consumes the entire apartment, along with Lloyd's men. The loud blast attracts the attention of the police, who quickly arrive on the scene. As the police attempt to apprehend Six, he manages to fight them off and attempt an escape, igniting a high-speed chase. The pursuit concludes with Six crashing and getting handcuffed to a nearby bench as Lloyd's team converge on the city square. Six warns the police of the impending danger from Lloyd's men and urges them to evacuate the area, but his warnings fall on deaf ears. Driven to desperation, Six seizes a gun and fires into the air, intending to force the innocent public evacuate the place and avoid the imminent bullet rain. Soon, a violent gunfight between Lloyd's team and the police, with several officers dying to the onslaught. As a fierce firefight erupts, Six takes cover. The SWAT team soon arrives, directing heavy machine gunfire towards Lloyd's men. In response, Lloyd commands his other team to avenge against the police. Amid the horrific exchange of gunfire, Six manages to cut loose from his handcuffs and boards a moving train. Lloyd's men, relentless in their pursuit, follow him onto the train, bullets flying in every direction. Meanwhile, Danny swoops in to rescue Six, driving Margaret's car. However, her daring move draws the attention of the city police, who initiate a breathless chase. The situation rapidly spirals into chaos, resulting in a train crash. Seizing the moment, Six leaps from the wreckage and lands in Danny's car, facilitating their daring escape. Upon learning of his team's annihilation, Lloyd delegates the mission to a supremely skilled agent named Avic. Concurrently, Six and Danny head to Claire's hospital with the intention of rescuing her. Once they manage to acquire a swipe card to the hospital, they search for Claire's location. 
Their efforts, however, are interrupted by Avic. He demands the drive, and when met with refusal, he overpowers them with his exceptional skills, taking away the drive from their possession. Avic then meets with Lloyd to deliver the recovered drive. Simultaneously, Danny and Six reach the location where Fitzroy and Claire are being held captive. After successfully fighting off some guards, they manage to acquire substantial firepower. Using this, Danny blasts through the building, causing a complete ruin, while Six rushes in to save Fitzroy and Claire. She continues her rampage, focusing her fire on the control center, while Avic, undisturbed by the chaos, picks up the fallen drive. Meanwhile, Lloyd and his men continue their pursuit of Six and Fitzroy. In the chaos, an injured Fitzroy urges Six to carry on without him. His final request is for Six to protect his niece, Claire. As the situation intensifies, Six makes a daring leap into the river, clutching Claire. In a tragic turn of events, Fitzroy sacrifices himself, detonating a grenade to eliminate Lloyd and his men. Despite the explosion, Lloyd survives using a human shield. Meanwhile, Danny clashes with Avic. In a surprising twist, Avic gives her back the drive, condemning Lloyd and his men as brutal and unworthy people. The tensions peak as Lloyd, following a tense gunfight, takes Claire hostage. Six, desperate to ensure Claire's safety, discards his gun leading to a brutal hand-to-hand -hand combat. Lloyd's knife strikes land on Six multiple times, but he manages to pin Lloyd down. Suddenly, Suzanne arrives, decisively ending Lloyd's life with a well-placed shot. With Lloyd gone, Suzanne presents Six with an ultimatum, support her story of pinning everything on Lloyd or risk Claire's life. The story twists again as we see Carmichael, Suzanne, and Danny cleared of all wrongdoing by the top leaders in the CIA, all thanks to Carmichael's decision to smash the drive to bits and pin everything on the now-dead Lloyd. However, upon reaching Six's location, they find him missing. It turns out that, in a last act of heroism, Six breaks free to go and save Claire, offering a heartfelt end to the adventure of the movie. If you want interesting movie recaps, like, share, and subscribe to follow us for more movie recaps.